welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm showing how to layer iron-on vinyl. When I posted my giveaway video last week, I asked what you wanted to see on my channel, and so many people said this, and I realized I only had a layering glitter iron-on vinyl video, which I can link down below for you, but I didn't realize I've never done just a regular layering iron-on video. I made this shirt for my two-year-old daughter. She, of course, loves Frozen. She loves Anna and Elsa, but but her favorite is Olaf, so I thought it would be so cute to make her a shirt. And now I'll just show you in Cricut Design Space how I put this together. Look for a frozen image. I'm going to find an image in the in Cricut Design Space, so I'll click over on images. You can use images also from the internet or wherever, but I decided to use one from Cricut Design Space. Then I'm going to search for Olaf. Here's the Olaf that I'm going to be using. It shows up right here because I've already purchased this. I subscribe to Cricut Access, but the Disney images are not covered under that, and that is just because <clears throat> of a licensing agreement with Disney. So even though I subscribe to Cricut Access, I did still have to pay for this, and it was $1.49. So I'm going to insert this into Cricut Design Space. The first thing that I want to do is size this. A lot of times I size my image at the end, but I decided just to size this right now. The shirt that I'm going to be putting this on is 2T. Usually with 2T, I do five to five and a half inches for the width, but because Olaf is so long, when I measured that out on my t-shirt, it was gonna be too long for the t-shirt. I'm actually gonna do 4.5 inches for the width. After that, the next thing that I like to do is look over in my layers panel. You can see here that all the layers are grouped together, so I am going to ungroup this. And down at the bottom, there is one layer that it's hidden, so if I select this eye and unhide that, you can see they have some offset image with it, and I don't want that, so I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard and get that out of there. It just makes it easier for me to look at it with that gone. Now I'll just show you when I move these pieces apart, this is what it looks like. For these stones, it's a greenish grayish color. I did not have that color vinyl and I did not want to go out and buy that vinyl just for this color. So I'll end up actually deleting this. I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to pull the white part of Olaf over the black shadow and you can see that it's sliced out right here with the mouth and where all the other colors will go. It's really nice when it's sliced out because you're not putting multiple colored layers on top of each other. You just don't want too many layers of vinyl on top because then it gets just to be a little bit too thick and too heavy. So with this um, sliced out, when I put this on top, then I'll place my other pieces. You can see that it's actually just getting pieced together and there's really only two layers of vinyl, which is really nice. This will, it'll all go on top of the black layer. So the orange will go right on top here and the brown will piece together here. And now for this one, I am just gonna delete it because you'll just see the black through the sliced white image. So I'm just gonna delete this one. Now we have all of our pieces, we have it sized. Um, you don't have to attach this together at all because it's all different colors. What it's gonna do when you click on make it, it's going to separate all of these on different mats. So I'll show you, I'll click on make it. And you can see here it separates each piece onto a different mat. And that'll tell us when to put what color vinyl into the machine to cut. This is iron-on vinyl or HTV, so you'll want to mirror your image on each mat. And I like to just click on it just to double check that, check that they're all mirrored. Okay, the next step, then you'll click on continue. I'm using my Cricut Maker, but you can use your Cricut Explore Airs as well. With those, you'll have a dial on your machine and you can just turn that to iron-on vinyl. But with the Cricut Maker, it's all in the computer and I have it favorited. If you don't have it favorited, you can browse all material. But I'm going to select Everyday Iron-on. 
You can see here it reminds you to mirror your image and to have your iron-on material face down, uh, shiny side down on the mat. You can also see up here it says number one. It's going to start with the white vinyl. That will show you what vinyl to put in the machine to cut first. I place my white vinyl shiny side down on my green mat and load it into the machine for the Cricut to cut. I'm using Caesar Easy Weed. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that Caesar Easy Weed is my favorite heat transfer vinyl. It just feels thinner on the shirt than others. And I like to buy this at Michael's. They usually have sales or you can use a coupon on the Caesar Easy Weed. I show this on pretty much all of my videos, but I always bend the mat backwards to get the vinyl off and it just keeps the vinyl from bending. You can see after it cuts out the white vinyl, it has a check on the corner that that one is done. Then it will go to the black vinyl. So now you know to put in the black vinyl for the Cricut to cut out and it will do that for the rest of the different colored vinyl. Now I have the Cricut cut out all of the different colors. Now I just weed out the excess vinyl. I like to use this mini trash can on my table when I'm weeding out iron-on vinyl. I'll link this down below if you are interested in this. Next, I look up on my phone what setting to use. I have the Cricut Heat Guide set up like an app on my phone. I'll leave a link below for that video to show you how I do that. You'll just type in what type of vinyl you're using. Even though I'm using Caesar Easy Weed, I select Everyday Vinyl. Then select the material. Mine is cotton. I'm using my Cricut mat, and if you don't have that, you can use a towel. It says to set the Easy Press to 315 for 30 seconds. Next, I grab my shirt. I fold the shirt in half and line it up well. Then I run my easy press over the shirt. This will leave a crease down the middle. This is my favorite way to quickly find the center of the shirt. And by doing this, I'm also preheating my shirt, which you'll want to do before adding vinyl. I grab my black layer first and bend that in half on the non-sticky side to find the center. Then I fold a crease at the very top. Then I line it up with the crease on my shirt. For kids shirts, I center about one inch down from the collar. I place a Teflon sheet over the vinyl and shirt. You can use parchment paper if you have that as well. I set the easy press down on the shirt. Make sure the easy press isn't on top of the collar or any creases. You want the easy press to be completely flat to heat it evenly. Since I am layering and pressing more than once, I only press the easy press down for 15 seconds instead of 30 seconds. That is just enough to tack the vinyl down on the shirt and be able to lift up the carrier sheet. You don't want to do it for the full 30 seconds for each layer because it'll get too hot and it can shrink up the vinyl. I wait for it to cool down some, then add my white layer. The hardest part with layering is getting it lined up just right on the black vinyl, but once I do that, I press for another 15 seconds. I was having a hard time lining up the brown pieces where every part was just over the black, so I ended up just cutting these so I can place them all separately. I also like to cut as much of the carrier sheet off as I can. I place the blue mouth and the brown stick arms on. You can press more than one layer or color at the same time, but you do not want any of the carrier sheet overlapping. The carrier sheet on the arms and the blue mouth didn't overlap at all, so I was able to press this all at once. I didn't add the carrot nose because that would overlap. 
This time I only pressed for about 10 seconds because it seemed too hot the other two times, but the vinyl wasn't fully adhered, so I heated it up a little bit longer. And just a tip when you are not doing the full press, you want to slowly peel up the carrier sheet to make sure that the vinyl adhered. And if it didn't, place the carrier sheet back down and heat it up a little bit more. I add the carrot nose, which is the last layer. Then I make sure my heat press is over the entire design. Then I press it for the full 30 seconds. I also turn the shirt around and press the back of the shirt for 15 seconds. Here's how the Olaf shirt looks. I think layering iron-on vinyl looks intimidating, but it's really not too bad once you do it, and I think it just turns out so cute. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos, and check out my Patreon account in the description box below if you would like to support my channel even further, and there are some perks as well when you join, and have a great day.